When working mom, Claudia, decided that she had no other choice but to leave her two-month-old daughter with her teenage niece, she knew that there might be a bit of a learning curve. But when this mother received a picture of her baby from her young babysitter, she could never have expected that the photo would create such a strong reaction. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot. And here is... Mother hires a young babysitter, receives a photo that stops her in her tracks. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Claudia Sarando was like many busy, overwhelmed working moms. She was the new mother of a very young newborn, trying to balance the demands of caring for a daughter and the reality of needing to work in order to pay for this huge new responsibility of raising a child. Claudia was committed to spending as much time as possible with her baby, but like many working moms, there came times when Claudia would have to ask for a helping hand from a babysitter. But in one case, what started as a routine babysitting request quickly changed with just one photo. Claudia was living in Lakeland, Florida, with her two-month-old daughter, Ava. Among her friends and family members in those short two months, Claudia had already gained a reputation for being a very protective mother. She loved her daughter and rarely left her baby girl's side. For Claudia, in a perfect world, the two would never be separated. But life happened, and that wasn't always possible. One day, Claudia received a call from her work with some mixed news. She was requested to come to a business meeting, but it meant she'd have to leave her daughter at home for a few hours. As a very new mother, Claudia was hesitant about what to do next. Immediately after hanging up from the phone call with her work, Claudia started to weigh her options. It felt like a lose-lose situation. She could either skip out on an important work meeting, but have time with Ava, or she could choose to stay home but miss an opportunity to further her career. Over the previous few months, Claudia had taken maternity leave while she was pregnant and shortly after Ava's birth, along with a few sick days here and there, to take care of her newborn. She knew that she would not skip the work meeting and decided to go. Little did she know that that decision would eventually lead to something completely unexpected. As soon as Claudia decided to go fulfill her work obligations, she started looking for someone to help out and take care of a baby Ava while she was gone. The meeting wouldn't be long, but she still wanted to bring in someone that she knew and trusted. Claudia began to look through the contacts in her phone and reaching out to a few of her friends and family members. After a series of apologies and rejections, Claudia started to grow frustrated. When her sister said that she didn't have time in her own schedule to watch Ava, she suggested someone who would never have crossed Claudia's mind, but that just might be available. It might not have been Claudia's first choice, but her sister suggested that her teenage daughter, Jan, take care of Ava during Claudia's absence. Claudia loved her niece and knew she was responsible, mature girl, but she did not immediately love the idea of leaving her two-month-old with a teenager. With her sister's repeated reassurances, Claudia decided to keep the option open as a last resort. At the time, Claudia could not shake the sinking feeling and anxiety in the back of her mind about a 15-year-old watching her newborn baby. She worried that her gut instinct might inevitably be proven correct. Either way, she was about to find out. Claudia's job had not left her that much time to find a babysitter, and the date of her business meeting was quickly approaching. After facing a bunch of dead ends in her search to find a babysitter, Claudia made a last-minute decision. The new mother picked up the phone and hesitantly called her teenage niece, Jan. Claudia made sure that Jan was not only available during her meeting between all of her schoolwork and her extracurricular activities, but that she was also prepared to take care of her. Her niece agreed, setting off a series of events that would lead to a fortuitous photograph. On the day of Claudia's business meeting, the new mother found herself feeling a little bit more nervous about leaving her daughter than she'd expected. Maybe her nerves were due to her time apart from her daughter, but the fact that she was leaving her with such a young babysitter certainly didn't help. Jan showed up at her aunt's house to learn the ropes, and Claudia was more than prepared. She showed her niece where to find just about everything, from formula to Ava's favorite toys to all of the emergency numbers. Feeling slightly anxious but a little bit more comfortable after the tour, Claudia kissed Ava goodbye and left to make it on time. After a commute that seemed to last forever, Claudia was excited to have finally reached the parking lot of her office. She immediately reached into her pocket, took her phone out and waited for any messages from her niece to come through. There was a delay and notifications were taking a long time to load, 
and Claudia felt like she was holding her breath the entire time. Was everything okay? Had she missed some important question or update about what was going on back at home? Then Claudia saw a notification appear on her phone from her niece with a picture attached. As soon as Claudia saw the thumbnail of her daughter, her stomach dropped. She immediately started to think the worst. At first, it was difficult to make out exactly what was going on in the photo with such a small preview. Those worries were compounded by the fact that the actual full-size photo was taking longer than expected to load. From what Claudia could see from the notification, something was definitely off. Claudia was growing frustrated, angry, and worried. She decided something must be wrong and questioned whether she'd made the right choice to leave her daughter with her young niece. Claudia was looking for answers, and she needed them fast. If the picture wasn't going to load quickly, she decided she'd just read the message that Jan sent to get a better idea of what exactly was going on. In the corresponding message, Claudia's niece explained that she was starting to get hungry while she was watching Ava and went into the kitchen to make herself a sandwich. Immediately, Claudia worried that the baby had been left alone, and there was no telling what could happen if a two-month-old is left alone, even for just a few seconds. That was it. Claudia had read enough and needed to know what exactly was going on. From what she could see in the pixelated image, her baby's legs looked like they were swollen. Her mind started running through possible scenarios of what could have happened and how to solve any of those scenarios from her office parking lot. Jan knows how protective I am with Ava, Claudia would later tell reporters. Some might say I'm a little paranoid. But as Jan's picture finally loaded, Claudia's paranoia quickly turned to laughter once she figured out what was actually happening back at her house. Claudia was literally starting to see the bigger picture after a minute that seemed to last forever. And once it loaded, she couldn't help but smile to herself as she took one more minute to get out of her car. All the anxiety that had built up as the photo loaded was quickly alleviated as soon as she could see exactly what was happening with her daughter and her niece. It seemed that while her niece was a pretty young babysitter, she was also a pretty smart one too. Jan showed me she's making sure she's keeping an eye on Ava, Claudia later told the Today Show. During Claudia's short time away from the house, her niece knew she had to keep a watchful eye on Ava while she made herself a sandwich, and the idea she came up with was pretty genius. Jan knew that she couldn't leave her baby cousin alone while she made herself lunch. A bit overwhelmed and afraid to put Ava down, she figured out a way to keep her eyes on her. Her strategy was like nothing Claudia had ever before considered. Jan decided to put her right in front of her own sweatpants, held up by her waistband. Claudia didn't know what was better, the idea or the picture that resulted from it. She knew she needed to share the photo with someone else and that ultimately led to yet another unexpected event. Claudia saved the picture and logged onto Facebook. She uploaded Jan's photo showing her niece hands-free babysitting method and typed out a caption to explain to her friends what was going on. Her post started, so I had to run out of the house for a quick minute. It continued, so I asked my niece to babysit baby Ava. A few minutes later, I received a text that Jan wanted to make a sandwich but didn't want to let baby Ava out of her sight. Lord sent help, this was her solution. Like really, creativity at its finest, Claudia pressed post and waited to see what her friends and family would say about the hilarious picture. And then the comments started rolling in. Once she posted the picture, Claudia went about her work. She knew the post would get a reaction from her followers. Her family was pretty tight-knit and there were a lot of them. She even joked that every month there's a birthday party. Family members were always keeping in contact over social media, so she was excited to see what they had to say about her niece's idea. She was expecting her friends and family to laugh at Jan's solution and probably comment on how cute baby Ava looked hanging out from her waist. But when she finally found time to log on to her social media and check her Facebook notifications, she saw something that she definitely was not anticipated in the comment section. Almost as soon as Claudia uploaded the picture of her young babysitter's genius idea, her Facebook post started gaining attention. Her friends and family began commenting and liking the photo, then sharing it on their own pages with their own followers. The constant liking and sharing meant that a lot of people were coming across Claudia's post and were loving it. In just a few hours, the pictures of her young babysitter and daughter had racked up thousands of likes and hundreds of comments. Claudia couldn't believe how much attention her post was receiving. But it wasn't until Claudia started skimming the comment section that another idea was born. Claudia began to read the comments that kept rolling in on her photo. There were some people who were tagging friends and others responding to her post laughing, sending their love, or commenting on how adorable baby Ava looked in the picture. But there was another group of people commenting specifically on her young babysitter's idea. 
Brilliant, one person wrote. Carried my babies around my hip in the 70s. I wish I'd thought of this. Another comment gave Claudia an incredible idea. You could make maternity pants that turn into this after, the person wrote. Get a patent on that. I see money. Claudia immediately started describing how inspired she was for the Facebook comment once she returned home to Jan and baby Ava. The idea for maternity pants turned baby carrier was crazy, but could it actually work? Claudia felt that there was definitely a few mothers who would love the idea. With all this newfound inspiration, she and Jan started getting to work, developing the idea and the design for a new kind of pants for pregnant women and mothers. They decided to call them Japants, based on her niece's name. With all of the attention that she was getting on Facebook, she knew she'd have to act fast to get her pants idea off the ground. They were excited about Japants, but they were also realistic about what it would take to start a small business. They knew that, as for any initial business idea, it would take a lot of money to be able to make her pipe dream a reality. And there was another problem. The two knew that in order to turn their idea into something more than just a fantasy, they needed funding. Together, Claudia and Jan set up a GoFundMe page so that fans of the Facebook post could donate to Japan's. Claudia hoped that the donations would encourage her niece's creativity and maybe even start a brand new business. Unfortunately, the GoFundMe account wasn't able to reach its final goal, but people continue to donate to the page in hopes that one day, Japan's will be a reality. In the meantime, Claudia faced another reality. Seeing Jan take such good care of her baby daughter and going to such lengths to never let Ava out of her sight showed Claudia once again how lucky she was to have such a supportive family. Claudia even considered herself lucky to have such a supportive community on social media. While thousands on the internet had seen a picture of her baby in a waistband, to her when she looked at that picture, she saw that she and her baby were surrounded by love and support.